The key is controlling the size of the ice crystals that form. Smaller crystals mean smoother ice cream. Large crystals on the other hand create a grainy, unpleasant texture. That's where churning comes in. As the ice cream base freezes, we churn it constantly. Churning does two things. First, it helps break up large ice crystals, keeping them small and evenly distributed. Second, it incorporates air into the mixture. This is what gives ice cream its light and fluffy texture. Without air, we'd end up with a dense, icy block. So remember, it's not just about freezing. It's about controlling the freezing process to achieve the perfect balance of ice crystals and air. That's how we transform simple ingredients into a smooth and delightful frozen treat. Fat and sugar. They're not just about flavor, they're essential players in the science of ice cream texture. Fat in the form of cream or milk fat plays a crucial role in creating that smooth, creamy mouthfeel. Fat molecules interfere with the formation of large ice crystals. They coat the crystals, preventing them from bonding together and creating that dreaded grainy texture. Sugar also plays a critical role, but not in the way you might think. 